Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. It's uh, Tuesday evening, almost 10 o'clock, doing laundry. This is when I do laundry, when everybody's out of my way and the kids are settled for the night. And so anyway, um, I've been wanting to talk to you a little bit about uh, the Million Mask March, what it means to me, encourage you to come. And then uh, for a while, with all this mayhem that has started online, you know, we expected that. The, the, the governments and corporations do not want everybody to come together. And I don't know if you're really grasping what's going on here. Um, because I know a lot of the uh, endorsements are coming from quote unquote anonymous, and, and that scares some of you because you think it's a CIA op. It's ridiculousness, first of all. I won't get into that now. But the march, it is probably for the first time. Well, since I've been alive, and probably maybe the first time in history, that all people are coming together to not only discuss, but make plans for change on all the issues in color, age, religious background, uh, financial background. None of it is relevant. The mask. The idea of anonymous takes that all away. We don't have to argue about that. There is no political nothing. No dividing lines. Human beings that have legitimate concerns about the way not only their fellow men are being treated, but the way their finances are being handled, the way their environment's being treated, all those things. Now, but because of this mayhem, you just know how sometimes, it, this is a peaceful event. Children are, are not only invited, encouraged to come, I'm bringing my three. It, it's a need to. Our kids need to see that we're going to stand up what, for what's right. Our kids need to see that what they're slinging through the public schools is actually true, right? Land of the free, home of the brave. Home of the brave. And over the last couple of weeks, I was kind of tossing around the idea that maybe D D.C. would break into mayhem and I shouldn't go. I should just go over to Portland and wave my little flag and act like I'm participating and stay safe. And I can't believe that thought ever came into my mind. And if you're feeling that way, too, then damn it. You and I and everybody else damn well better make it there. D.C. or at least the closest place to you. Now, my focus was D.C. to begin with. But I, that, that fear started to make me rethink. I didn't voice it. I didn't act on it. But I'm ashamed of myself for even letting that damn thought. The fear has controlled us for how long? If you're in fear of going to your government and saying, listen to me, I'm concerned with this, and I need you to take care of it before I have to act on it myself. If you're scared to do that, and if you think you're going to be labeled an extremist and a terrorist and an enemy of the state for that, you damn well better be in D.C. And you better bring your kids with you. Like the intro says, the operation of the machine has become so odious. It has. That you're going to say, I can't do it. I could lose this. I could suffer that. And yes, the fact of the matter is, maybe you will suffer for it. But isn't that the point of you going? Because you shouldn't be suffering for it. I want to talk a minute about the mask thing, too, because that's going to discourage somebody. Everybody, you know, the idea is everybody will come with a mask. Obviously, you don't have to. The written verbiage, uh, I'm not going to call it law. That's not law. 
It's written verbiage, wasted verbiage, as far as I'm concerned. An ordinance, a rule. Certainly not a law. The law says unless you're under 16, you can't wear a mask or any covering of any part of the face. Face paint would be included in that. You can't wear a hood um, and walk through the streets or gather in that. Uh, if you're under six, so the kids, first of all, that's the thing. Because I know some of you parents would be concerned. I can't have my, my son or daughter wear a mask and be arrested for wearing a mask. Yeah, they can. They're safe. It's okay for them to do that. So that's right off the bat, every child should have a mask there. Um, and if you can, if you want the uh, Guy Fox mask, if you can't find them, go to my website uh, on the store revolution page, and they got deals on packs of ten. That's an Amazon thing. I make maybe four percent. Nobody's getting rich, but you can get them there if you can't find them somewhere else. They're pretty cheap and reasonable. Um, or you can do the face paint, or you can find like I just saw at Walmart, blank white, and maybe do something creative for the kids. But it's just the idea of the unity and that, that mask erasing everything else that has become so relevant thanks to the mainstream media and the crooked politicians. And so uh, that's I, I'm, I'm going to do my best to make it to D.C. Now, you guys know work has just barely kept me hanging on the edge. There really isn't money to do these things, but I think work is going to pick up over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I did the numbers. It's only a couple of hundred bucks in gas, uh, maybe throwing another hundred for a safety net or, or a stop at a motel or a tire or whatever. Car's in great shape. I'm not worried about the car. Um, it's awesome. So, car's good. And if I'm able to do this, then I could take one other person with me. So, um, this is what the goal is. Um, I didn't want to tell you what the goal was till I had the cash in hand, but I said, you know, I'm, I'm, this is. I usually don't fail when I set my mind to something and, and work looks like it's going to be good and, and I can take a, a day, travel through the overnight, make the march, probably have to rush right back, um, crash a couple hours on the highway, whatever. Uh, we're going to do this. Um, if you want to support those efforts, please visit the website. Um, if I do very well between your support and my work, um, I will also try to upgrade the camera. I mean, this thing would be great. I'd, I'd actually like to see my, my guys with this and me get something that's going to get you some clearer footage. Uh, but whatever. We could make do with this if need be. And um, potentially do some uh, live call-ins to UCY to report on what's going on as well. Um, try to work that out as well. So that's the goal. Um, I was hoping to be able to do live video. I don't think I'll be set up to do that, but, it, you know... Um, Really, it boils down to how much money uh, I have when it when it's time to go. It's go time. So um, anyway, that's the goal, and I hope you guys will. Uh, and I know a lot of you can't make it to D.C., but get with me, uh, and I'll put the link below actually because there is a um, like a carpool website for the Million Mask March, and, and people are getting together. So uh, doesn't really matter where you are. You probably could make it to D.C., you know, if you're a single person or whatever. Um, I'll get that link for you. Make sure you check it out. I'm going to link below to the blog. Um, and, and again, folks, millionmaskmarch.org is not somewhere you want to go. I know myself. They've been tracking IPs. Um, at the very least, this is somebody that's trying to level leverage large movements such as Barrett Brown, WikiLeaks, The March, other things, um, just to gain attention, um, but it seems like there's a lot more involved into it, and I won't get into that now. I've already put the information out and will continue to do so, but The March, don't let those things distract you, okay? I'm going to put the link below for you Facebookers for the official event page. That's the original one. That That, that is the, the one I feel that is credible. Um, in, in unison with the thoughts of the people. So, those links will be below. Now, why am I going? I, I've had enough. And, and I'm amazed by this movement again because there's no colors, religions, any of that there. And that is that is so powerful. And they don't like that. Uh, they don't like that at all. Because they have no authority, they have no leverage, they have no power, they have no control. So that uh, we need to back those kinds of movements that that stop all the bullshit that we've been dealing with, the division. 
first of all. When you see movements that erase division, you need to back them. That's my feeling. Personally, I'm sick of being sprayed. It's toxic. It's destroying everything. I've had enough. I've had enough of the pr prison planet. Okay? We need to get a lot of those people out of jail, into work programs, other things. We, we need to revise that system and God damn it, it, it's not going to be another corporate entity that we pay. This is part of uh, uh, the biggest thing I'm, I'm going to tell you. The marijuana is a big deal. Leave the plants alone, okay? I, it is not illegal to hold a plant or, or consume a plant. Fuck you. I'm sorry about my language. I'm, I, I really am trying to limit that, folks, because I want to touch everybody. I want to be able to communicate with everybody. And you will hear me rant. I'll generally give you a warning. You can't arrest people for plants. The food. You can't arrest people for making their own food or, or their milk out of their own cow and sharing it with their neighbor. No, you will not. No. You're not going to write bills that are 900 pages long that say you can lock me up because I don't agree with you. And in the same thing, you give permission for the people that are protecting us to have sex with animals. I'm not paying you to, to do these things. No, I am not. My children are not. No. No. The vaccines. You're not going to insist that I inject anything into me. You no, know, you're not going to force any, anything to be injected into me. In your health care, you're not going to force me to sign up for any program. No, you're not. You're not making me pay for anything. No. No, sir, you're not. I will not comply. I'll tell you the tipping point, because this is a big deal, folks. This is a pivotal moment in this nation, and if you can't recognize that, you've really got to spend some time to do some research, because everything hangs in the balance. And people need to get together. We need to stop the foolishness, and you know that as well as I do. Even if you're prejudiced against a race, even if you are, because some people I know personally have said, you know, I'm a little racist and I try not to be. They don't even like it. But because of their upbringing, because of whatever other factors, it's still hanging in the back of their mind when they see a person of another color or language or whatever their prejudice is. It still grabs them and they lock it away and they fight it. And that's good. You should. It, it, it's Evil is, you know, we're all prone to all these evils. So we... We need to erase that. My point is, is even if you're prejudiced, you know it hasn't worked. It hasn't worked. So maybe just give it up, okay? Just, just stop the nonsense. And people are. That's awesome. One big thing that really bothers me too is, is the treatment of our vet veterans. Now, sometimes it's hard for me to support the troops now, in the essence that. I know they're being used and lied to and manipulated to kill and steal and they don't realize it. Uh, I love them because they're there to defend us and do what they think is right. What happens is they've been deceived. But So when those men come home and they're, they're told that they can't go to their memorial, no, you're not going to treat our vets that way. You're going to house them, you're going to feed them, you're going to care for them, you're going to compensate them. And you're going to let them go wherever the hell they want, at any time they want, as far as I'm concerned. They walk the globe to protect your ass, and now you're going to lock them out of what? No, no, sir, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. No. Can't tolerate it. And the thing that really pushed me the other day to, to really focus on getting to D.C., just because I think that's where I should go, um, was the vet that was on the Segway with no real legs or feet with a barricade hunkered down bringing that bitch back to the White House that kind of determination to do what is right anyone that doesn't show up to one of the marches needs to be ashamed of themselves I was ashamed because I knew I was thinking of, of not going to D.C. And I saw that photo of that 
soldier who had apparently had his legs blown off. And he was told he couldn't go to the mor- Really? No, sir. Kudos to you. Uh, I don't know the, the soldier's name, but I was just inspired by that. Inspired by it. We can go on and on. The lies about Fukushima that's killing generations right now. Another reason I'm going. The GMOs, the, the, the manipulation of life at all, anything, the cloning, your... The, the vaccines again any of that lab manipulate when when humans think they can control life itself we've really gone afoul another reason I'm going into the march is because I think people you got to look at the rest of the world and what this nation has done to it and and what we really look like in the eyes of the rest of the planet we're a shameful disgraceful gluttonous whorish evil nation and unless we the people stand up to our own government who's doing those things in our name and say we will not treat the rest of the planet like this, you don't represent us anymore, unless we do that and make a clear statement to the rest of the world, then we are guilty and responsible for all the actions of our country. And if we were to be attacked right now, we probably had it coming to us, quite honestly. Um, if we are called to pay our debt these other countries, I mean, what happens to you and me? We don't pay for our homes, right? How, how many homes have been lost? Twice as many as there are homeless people, by the way. Okay? We need to stand up and, and tell the world that at least from here out, it is going to be we the people, and we are going to do the right thing, and they are all welcome here. And once we get our house in order, we will come help them with theirs if they ask us to. But other than that, we're going to stay out of their shit. And we're not going to steal their uh, commodities and their resources. And we're not going to kill their children with drones. And we're not... No. We're going to bring all of our soldiers home. And if any one of you out there in the rest of the world should attack us, all hell's going to break loose and the bullets are going to fly. But until you come within 100 miles of our shore, you're not even going to get a warning from us. That's how this nation should be. We're big bullies. Big, gluttonous, bully bastards. Okay? That's why I'm going. And one of the other reasons I'm going is because all these things that we're calling the government out on, in a lesser version, we are it. We need to start taking care of our own. We need to start realizing that large central governments over large areas and many different peoples and landscapes does not work. Okay? Because every time a large group makes a law, Inadvertently, you have taken away someone else's right. You have hindered someone else in some fashion. And we don't need all that. My recommendation is that, that we, our governors run this country. That the president, the vice president, all those puppets, the, all of them, Congress, turn D.C. into a museum uh, of medieval times. The governors should run the country. And my reasoning is, is I think it'd return some power to the people. Okay, because 50 people would have to agree before a law was passed. So that law would most probably only be laws that affected the whole. If it was something that related to the whole, then it, it could be a federal law, let's say. Other than that, each state should be passing their own laws to govern their own people, and their own people should be taking care of their own people. We should not be paying Washington to decide to pool up all the money and decide who gets what. Now, if a state is overburdened and can't take care of all their people, we're brothers and sisters. We should be able to say, hey, you're going to need a little help. We can do this for you on an as-needed basis. We've over, you know, written everything. We need to simplify. We need to take care of our own. As people, we need to stand up. Walking down the street, you see a piece of trash on the ground, pick the damn thing up. Don't pay a politician to pay a guy to ride around in this big fuel-burning beast that throws dust all over your car. Pick the damn thing up. 
Hey, wait a minute, here's an idea. Don't throw the fucking thing down in the first place. When I go into the laundry right now, you're going to see, and there's probably some here. There is, look. Cigarette butts. They'll, they'll be all through the washer. Because I'm not throwing them on the ground. I'm Okay, you, there's all these things. We bitch about the government, and we have a right to. They've gone foul, but so have we. So have we. They've put a system in place, and a portion of the society says, Hey, I can get a bunch of shit for free. If I do this like this, and I lie about that, and I act like this, and I eat these pills, and I can just get a check. Of course, I'll never amount to anything. I'll never have any extra money, but I won't have to do anything. No. No. I, I like community embarrassment. You know, if somebody needs help, absolutely buy the man a meal. Take care of him, give him, give him what he needs. Show him where there's some work that he can do. If he can't do anything, teach him how to do something. Let him, you know, work on your farm while you get... We don't need anybody to tell us or, or to, to divide our resources. It's ridiculous. The whole thing is ridiculous. Your laziness has cost you this. Your selfishness. Because if you just pay those crooked politicians to steal from you, you don't have to worry about the guy next door if he gets fed or not. In fact, if you're having a bad day, you can sit around and have something to bitch about, huh? Can't do it anymore. There has to be an awakening in this nation and across the planet. And if you notice, there is 351 locations as of yesterday, November 5th. So no matter where you are, I know a lot of you guys, my subs, my Twitterers, Facebookers, you're all over the planet. There is a march going on near you. Chances are. So I'm going to put a bunch of links below, send you a whole bunch of love, and uh, hope to see you in D.C. Uh, if you know, And again, there'll be a link, the last link down will be to the support page. If you can help with that effort, um, it'll, it'll really be great. And I'll make sure that you guys get some awesome video and hopefully some live reports from UCY. And as we get closer to that date, I'll let you know where things stand. And again, because of all this stuff with the Million Mask March and uh, where donations are being spent by some entities, if anybody ever questions what I get in donations or how they're used, feel free to ask. It's not a whole lot. You see, I drive a $500 car. I run around with clothes with paint all over them. Um, the support is awesome. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, but I don't push it normally unless there's a need. And I hope that you guys recognize that and appreciate that and know that I appreciate your support in those hard times and that I won't call on you unless I need something. Um, but again, I do have a goal to, after the first of the year, if shit doesn't hit the fan, late spring, whatever the case may be, to take the show on the road and start helping people get in the face of the people that are screwing them over the most. So I'm going to try to stay on track with that, and that's a long-term goal. And uh, you can subscribe to uh, support that uh, monthly effort if you wish. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here and get my laundry done. Million Mask March. Please do the research. Follow the links below. Start interacting with the people. They're your brothers. They're your sisters. They're your grandparents. They're the lawyers. They're our military. They're everybody. They're even the children. Let your kids know what's going on in this country. Folks, if you look at what's happened over the last couple of years, global civil uprising most of which has turned violent don't let that distract you we are a nation that pulls through and does things differently or at least that's what they're telling you in the books right let's start acting like it much love many thanks and i'll see you soon and you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels upon the levers